Hey YouTubers, Writer Bryn here, and I am playing House Flipper. I absolutely love this game. Um, I have got most of the achievements. I've sold all of the houses. You can see here that I have over a million dollars. Um, so now I'm playing it the way I want to play it. And I decided to make a dorm. Or a, like a college campus dormitory type thing. Um, I love tearing down the walls and building new things. There's some things you can't do because of the bathrooms, the fixtures, things you can't move, windows, you can't put um, oh, walls in front of windows. So I just wanted to show you this uh, beautiful dorm and we will take a look. So when you walk into the hallway, this bright beautiful orange, I do wish there were more colors, I wish there were more options to paint like the top half of the wall whatnot. So anyway, this is the hallway. First room on the right is our first little dorm bedroom. Now all of these bedrooms have a uh, bed, a chest of drawers for their clothes, a shelf, and a desk. And I try to put a, some kind of plant in each one. Not everybody gets a window and some people get smaller rooms, some people get larger rooms. Across the hall here we have one of the larger rooms. I guess this would be for one of the staff members. And I hate putting in those installation things. I didn't do that in every room. Um, some nice curtains here. So that's bedroom number two. And then of course we have our downstairs bathroom. A nice lime green color. And over here we have the living room. So kind of a living room, just a room for people to come and sit down and, and talk and chat. A nice little uh, sitting room. And of course you got to have a kitchen where they can eat and peanut butter. <laughs> uh, so there is the kitchen. And when we head upstairs, there's a few more rooms. Bedroom number three. I have to open the door out so you can see it. And it's done in a teal. Of course, the desk, the bed. And this person luckily got two windows. Bedroom number four is a little smaller, but not the smallest. It got a picture of the outside. I need to crop off the date. But it got a picture of the outside, so it kind of looks like a window. And a nice little plant. Was this bedroom number four? Uh, bedroom number five is a big one, but it had to be because of the windows. So that's where the wall had to come to. The next room is very small, but you can't put a wall in the middle of a window. And so they, they even got a TV. But this is the bat. oh, this is the bathroom, yes. I couldn't move the wall over because of the window, again. Um, and because that's a bathroom, we couldn't change that wall, and because of that, window we couldn't move it over but here is another bedroom here is the very tiniest bedroom of course this poor person gets a very cheap rate <laughs> and here is the bigger bedroom again this one didn't get curtains because you couldn't put a curtain on that one okay I have shown you everything upstairs now my favorite part is the basement. And I missed a stripe of paint right there. I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. Alright, the first thing we have is it's calling this a home cinema room. So we got the TVs and the theater chairs and just a nice little place to hang out. Love these purple colors. Nice bright room. And then we have, I believe this is called a, yes, well, this is called a living room, but this is the library. We've got our leather furniture and our shelves and desk. I don't know why it's not calling it a library. I have everything that it says it should be to be a library. And uh, here's something I absolutely love. Love that. Made it look like library shelves. Brought the wall out and painted it. And some more library books. I wish we could stand the books up. And then we have, over here, we have a closet. It's called a closet. If you walk in, you can see in the upper right. And we just have some linen things, some hooks, and some shoes. And that was just to take up the extra space under the stairs. And this is 
also one of my favorites. It's called a dining room. So it's, you know, we're in the basement. They've got a little place to make coffee and they've got their ramen noodles and their peanut butter and their tuna. Um, water bottles on the table and these vending machines, which I think just turned out fantabulous. I love that. Pulled the wall out a little to make it look more real. And the Coca-Cola sign on the wall. I love this room. It turned out great. So this is our dormitory. I uh, built up the walls here to, to give it a little closed door. And uh, it had a lot of fun making this. Just play around, tear out walls, build up new walls, see what you can do. I hope you have enjoyed this tour of this dorm as much as I enjoyed making it.